Hey guys, um, today we're just going to talk and I'm going to decorate my bed with these little, uh, these little nail cuffs, but now I'll we'll just talk some random, so, what's the topic? Um, so recently, with life, I've been put on a sick line for a little bit, just until my head gets a bit better, but I don't know that. I hopefully I'll get back into hairdressing or something, I think in the future. Who knows? There isn't a lot of imagination, but I'm only like my video, I guess. At some point, I'll be share on YouTube. Maybe I have like Instagram and like all that, but I don't really share a lot, like like private stuff on it. So I just kind of post pictures and make other my life's looking great when it's not. But no, yeah, that's fun. some white. So, knowing me, if you do know me properly, I'm a big Motorless and White fan from Creatures till Graveyard Shift. Massive fan, love them. Don't get me wrong, their new album, not properly listened to it yet, but nah. Their new album, <sighs> right. My problem is Devin left. That's my problem. This is a personal opinion, right? All personal, don't get offended. But, I liked Devin, good dude, cool aesthetic, all that shit, then he left. And now we have this new dude who's just kind of like there, he's trying to do his makeup all fun, trying to be the basis that Devin was, but no, he will not be there hunting. It's the same as when Balls left, like, that made me really upset because once again he was a massive asset to the band. And I'm sure they're still going to make brilliant music, I'm sure they will press on that, and he's a brilliant vocalist, but they're not going to have that spooky element they had, they're not going to have... They're just not going to have what they had, it's going to be just another, like, to the way I'm seeing it, they're going like a pop-punk theme, the way that I'm seeing Motionless go, but meh. It's like... It sounds weird, right? But I'm someone who just like can't like wrap my head around it. But they're making like stupid merch now as well. Like they're making some really weird merch. Like before they used to make like coffee t-shirts, all that shit, like all that goth pish. But now it's like they're making like mugs with like funny faces and shit on it. What happened to Missionless? Tell me. What the fuck? They're not spooky anymore. They're all just. Meh, and these new members, my god. But it's a personal opinion, so don't attack. Um, let's see. Uh, it's currently not too bad weather, if that's fun. Um, in Scotland, it's always either raining or sunny, so it's not too bad. That's uh, something. You know what, we'll change it to a little... Well, I'll tell you a little bit about me. Nothing too much, but I'll tell you a little bit. Um... Let's see. Well, I live in, I live in Edinburgh. That's a start. Um... Pretty chill. Not that bad. Uh... Weather's always terrible, of course. Not that long ago, I got lost up in this mountain called the Pentlands. Well, it's they call it a, they call it a hill. This thing is a fucking mountain. I basically went for a walk with one of my friends, and then we ended up getting very lost, very lost. Like this was my first time there, I believe, and well, I think I've been to the bottom of it once, but this was my first time actually like going into the Pentlands, and oh my god, it was. At the start, it was really good. We found a waterfall. We found like some really cool little spots, and then we just kept walking. And then it got to a point where we were like, it was like, ah, uh, 
10 o'clock, about 10 o'clock, we discovered that, like, we didn't actually know where we were. And then we were like, okay, there's a mountain there, because we Google mapped it. There was, like, a mount, there was, like, a small, the smaller side of the mountain was right in front of us. And I Googled it, and it said that where we lived was a straightforward walk. So I was like, okay, so if we can just climb over that, t like, small bit, should be good, right? No. We get halfway up, my pal is very tired, he's pretty much falling asleep at this point. I'm like, not at the top, but I'm like, pacing it forwards, and I'm like, I'm slowly getting more stressed. And all that, but, meh. And then we get to the top, and then we discover that we can't cross it. Because it was too rocky, and it was actually a lot thinner at the top than we thought it would be. Like, we thought it would be like, that, but it was more like this and there's, there was no way that we were like getting over it and it was either that or like these drops that we'd have to go around to get around on the side that we wanted to be. So instead we decided to walk back down the mountain because we had no way of getting over it. So we got to the bottom after that and it was about one o'clock at this point, something like that. But so basically we spent a good while climbing this mountain, like a good few hours, and then going back down there. So about one o'clock at this point, and there was no service, because we were in like, the bottom of this mountain. Like, there was no service at all, so I couldn't even call anyone, I was like, what are we gonna do? And it was already like, one o'clock, half one, by the time I actually found service. And I called, um, emergency service. We got a lift back, all that. And then, since that, I've not really been on the walk since, because... Hell no. That was just so much effort, I'll probably get out again properly soon, but like... Right now, it's just kind of a break, I think. Uh, what else? To be honest, I don't really get up to much in life. Like... I chill, smoke, walk, you know, daily average human things. Yeah, that one there. That's one. Three and how's about two? That one. Uh, what else has been happening in my life? Um, so, this YouTube channel I've started, it's just me to post. It's basically going to be like my second Instagram idea, except it's more verbal, I guess. Um, I don't know, I just want to show what I can do, what I've learned in life, things that I... I don't know, just things I like. There's a lot of people I know who don't really like to share what they do and they always tell me how much they like what I do even though I don't really do much so I just thought I'd share it, see what it's like, kind of out myself, see what I actually do, maybe inspire me to do more, who knows. And, let's talk about straight pride. So, I don't really have much knowledge on it. I'll admit it, because I couldn't give two shits about it. It's like, I, I believe in pride, but, I don't know, everyone's got their own views, I guess. Like, I'm a gay man myself, but... It's not what it used to be, I'll say. That's where I'll leave it there. We don't stand up for what we... Well, I say we. They don't stand up for what they say they do, I think. But no one's got their opinion. But yeah, street pride, so I'll tell you my thoughts on that. 
so far I've only heard through like the grapevine and like obviously through like the media and all that pish of like what's happening with it and all that and I've got everyone being like oh my god this is crazy how are they doing this we can't allow them to do that and then you've got I guess the street people who are like why do they get a day and all that pish and to be honest I don't think either of us should have a day and if you do then it accept it as a day. It's all it is. You're going on a fucking walk, like... Make your banners, make your shit, buy your Primark pride stuff, I don't know. Have fun, like, stop fucking... Like, the only reason they're doing it is because you're taking it seriously, I think. Like, who the fuck cares? If they want to do it, let them. It's just a fucking day. If they want to spend all their money on making posters and badges for straight pride, do it. I mean, we already do it. And then what do we do? We bend it all and wait till next year. So, I don't know, if they want to do it, let them do it. At the end of the day, you're still going to be alive. It's not like they're going to go around like the purge fucking all these street people with fucking guns and shit hunting down the gays. That's not what street pride is. They're literally going for a walk. They're just wearing a badge that doesn't have a fucking rainbow. So, I don't know, that's my thought. Like, I don't know, I think that if we can accept that we have gay pride, then, and we're expecting them to accept us, then I think it should be a two-way street. I think it's easy to say that, I don't know, let them do it. Fuck it. What, what effect does it have on you? If you choose not to get involved in it, then you're not gonna be worrying about it, like... Christ, it's all these people who post it everywhere and they're like, oh my god, we cannot allow this to happen. Okay, you spend your life doing that, I'm going to get in bed, go to sleep, chill out, I don't know, do some dreadlock stuff, you know, try and relax instead of thinking, oh my god, why are the streets taking something else from us? They're not. They're having a day. Just like Christmas, just like a birthday, just like fucking next Friday, it's a day, so let them do what they want. And they'll let you do what you want. And as much as you're going to get these people who are like, no, we are being suppressed. We're not being suppressed. Well, at least us in Britain aren't. We're not being suppressed at all, so... I don't know. I've got three of these left. I think... This one it might not help it. Right, we'll try you. We'll do a short one. Okay, this will be the last one. Right. Uh. <sighs> Sorry for going into a long topic, by the way, of street pride, fucking... I don't know, if, I feel like everyone doesn't share their opinion enough and people are too scared to share their opinion. To be honest, like... It's kind of like when people say, oh no, pe people share their opinion online, but not in person. Like, if anything, like, I'm the other way around. Like, I don't, I'm not even the other way around. I don't really care if someone has a problem with what I think it's, it is what it is. I just want everyone to get along. Keep one on you. Mm. 
I'll just put one on each one of that stick and it might help me. I think that will do for today. Well, I hope you enjoyed this boring video of me playing with my dreadlocks and just speaking about bullshit. But, no, if you can, like, subscribe, all that stuff. But, till then, catch you in the next one.